It's always a pleasure each year to be talking about the Alliance Francaise French Film Festival. And as always, it is my great pleasure to be speaking to the artistic director of the French Film Festival, Karine Maury. Karine, welcome again to Movie Metropolis. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm so happy, Peter. <laughs> well, I love talking to you about uh, French cinema, which I assume uh, French filmmakers and French cinema is uh, getting back to normal after the uh, COVID issues, I, I suppose. Yes, it's a, it's a very interesting moment because the production of uh, movies has been more than 260 movies produced this year and uh, includes the documentaries. We pick up about 40 documentaries. Uh, which is which is as a normal. Mm. The, the good thing is that during the COVID, the French government have really support the industry. They they spend I think I I read it uh, six million of of uh, euro to support more than this. So sorry, I don't have the the the, the right uh, uh, count in my in my head today. <laughs> but uh, they they really support. They not only support the producer and the actor and the profession, but they also produce the distributors and the theaters. And um, what is very important on this festival is a, it's a message I share with everybody is please come back to the theater. Please come back to, to share cinema with a, a large audience because it's so, so good to be in good, to see movies in good condition where a director, and you know better than me, when a director creates a movie, thinks about the movies, he thinks for large screen, you know, he thinks for large audience in large screens, not for your telephone and even not for your TV. And uh, movies are, are made really to, to be enjoying in a theater. So it's a, it's a message I really want to, to, to share with you. I absolutely endorse that. I think uh, cinema is the best place to see films. Now, we should say the film festival is on at Palace Cinemas across Australia. And in Melbourne, for example, it's on from the 8th of March to the 5th of April. And uh, there are, as always, uh, a, a number of uh, terrific films that you have selected. Were there any particular challenges, uh, Karine, in terms of selecting films? This year, yes, I wanted to... to... To make the people smile, I wanted to have um, maybe more movies light, and uh, and uh, and I also wanted to be like the cinema for me is a window of our reality and our past and and uh, our present. I wanted to have also uh, uh, movies that show us what's happened on the past, and I'm thinking, for example, about this movie uh, about uh, Annie in Fire, for example, which speak about abortion and speak about the condition of the woman in the 70s in France. And uh, I was thinking it was interesting also to propose some movies who have linked with our situation now. And um, so, yes, um, the challenge, and it's always the same challenge. Today. We want to give entertainment. So we want to go to the cinema to have fun, to love, to to have emotion. And also I want to put on the, on the festival some movie maybe more challenging and to bring the people in another place, a place where they didn't think they, they were able to go. So it's a, all this, it's, a, it's a, a, a balance. And I think one moment when I finished my selection, I, I was looking for all the movies and I was thinking, what is the umbrella of the festival? And by the way, it's an effervescence of different uh, um, movies, but different characters. Some are very bubbly, like, uh, Jeanne in, in uh, Ebony La Jeanne or Two Tickets for Greece with uh, Locke Alamy. And one are very intense and, and deep and interesting, like uh, in the movie Saint Omer, for example. Uh -huh. Or the Nadis. Excellent. And I wanted a lot of diversity, a lot of diversity, please. I wanted to propose many, many uh, faces of France, you know, the France of Mascarade, which is the south of France rich people, the glamour, etc. but also the France of the nannies and, uh, and uh, this woman who, who are in, in the shadow of uh, uh, take care of the kids. And uh, I really love this movie, The Nannies, by the way. I think it's a very good comedy and, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and social, social things. And yes, another vision of France. 
Absolutely. I've seen The Nannies, and yes, I agree with you. It's, it's a really enjoyable film, but it also deals with the idea of, uh, of, uh, of women who don't have visas, who are not documented, as it's uh, called in the film, uh, and are also treated quite badly by their middle-class employers. But when, when you have, uh, it's uh, when, do you, when you don't have your own identity, when you can't have your paper, your your underclass, and uh, and uh, sometimes you you meet people that give you a hand and say, "I'm going to help you," and sometimes you are people who are going to abuse of your situation. It's a, uh, it's a uh, yes, it's a uh, it's a uh, very complex, and uh, and I think this movie is enjo is enjoyable enjoyable. Or do you say yes? <laughs> is is a is a enjoyable help me <laughs> um, because. It's it's uh, is this woman have the power on the movie, and you it, it's interesting they want to change their 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 condition and and uh, so it's uh, yes it's uh, it's a very interesting portrait of woman. Okay, sounds great. Uh, well, I mean I've seen it, so I agree it is good. Now the opening night film is mas <laughs> Masquerade, as you uh, have already mentioned, and it's uh, one I'm really looking forward to seeing. Yes, it's a, it's a, it was a huge success in France. The audience really enjoy it, and I was. It's always complicated to find a good movie to start a festival. Uh, last year, it was a Lost Illusion, yeah. uh, with a costume movie it was a intense, full of uh, uh, energy, but also very adapt, adapted by one uh, of most important uh, French book. So it was a very intense in the fact there are so much things inside. Eiffel was also with costume. So I wanted to have to propose a new vi version, a new vision of France, mm -hmm. uh, not back to the past. Even if I think the movie is look like a movie made in the 70s, you know, it's very uh, sea sex and soul, like Gainsbourg songs, you know. And uh, and uh, and the, on this movie, the characters are, the, the casting is just amazing. You've got Pierre Ninet, we, who was last year on this wonderful um, movie called uh, uh, The Box or, or the movie called Goliath. And uh, so you've got Pierre Ninet, Isabella Adjani. Mm. Isabella Adjani, whatever you think, it's one of the most important and most incredible actress. And and in this movie, she she play her character is very close of the vision, the image that we've got of Isabella Adjani. Like grand star, like the diva, etc., and she really play with with that, which is very well done, and and show how amazing, amazing actress she is. François Cluzet also is very well known in Australia because he was in a what was the name? Uh, um, um, damn, uh, François Cluzet, please help me. You are you are uh, the, the uh, memory. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying Stan, to remember. Is it friends and strangers? Yeah. And to Shab. To Shab. And to Shab. You know, and to Shab. Um, no. with, uh, with Omar Sy. Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I know Francois Cruzet. Okay. He's an excellent actor and has been in lots of excellent films. Yes. Um, okay. So that's uh, that's uh, Masquerade and, and that's the uh, opening yes. night film. Now, it's, the... a, it's a wonderful thriller and a, and a, and a... Yeah. Comedy and the image is just beautiful to see in a large screen. I think it will be one of the big hits of the festival. Okay, good. Looking forward to it. Now, I noticed there are two films, I think there might be more, that deal with the terrorist issue that happened in Paris in uh, 2015, I think. One is uh, Virginie Efira, who stars in Paris Memories, uh, and she won a César Award for her role in that film. And also, um, there's another film, November, with uh, Jean Dujardin, which uh, also deals with that terrorist act. Um, yeah, yeah, let's talk about those. I, I think it's a part of our history. It's so important uh, to show these movies. Uh, November was the biggest success in France. Two million point five of uh, of uh, uh, attendees of uh, attendances of the first four weeks. Two million point five of people came to see it. It was massive. It was massive because the it's the first time we've got such a good movie of action. The director said Cedric Jimenez is the one who made some uh, episode of the Bureau, Le Bureau des Légendes, the Bureau, and also he made Back North, which is a 
who was on on a, on a, on the platform uh, it's a perfect perfect uh, action movie very well done very intelligent and also a lot of emotion because it speaks not only what's happened in the Bataclan, you are never on the attack. The movie starts in the beginning when all the telephones rung in the same time to say something happened in Paris. And you are with the police and you're looking for the people who've done it and you try to understand why and if they are going to, to shoot again, to attack again. Mm. And the police have to stop, identify, stop them, and it's all this, and it's so incredible. We've got also Sandrine Kimberland inside, who plays uh, the role of uh, the director of the police at this time, and it was a woman. And it's so interesting to see how complex is her situation because she has also to deal with, with uh, the president. She has to also to deal with, with the army and, uh, and the different uh, police, uh, uh, local, etc. cetera. And it's, it's, a, it's a brilliant movie. And I think it's it's one of the uh, most to see also in in the festival. Mm. Paris Memories. I when I saw it the first time, I said I really want this movie, and I called all the distributors to buy it. It was my favorite ever. It said, "Oh, this woman Virginie Fira can be so uh, just just perfect, you know, not too much, not too sincere all time." And it's also a female director who made this movie. And uh, it's, uh, it's made by um, uh, Alice Winocourt. And uh, Alice Winocourt know how to, to transmit the emotion uh, just with some uh, plan on the, on, the, on the face, on, on your hands, you know. And, and in the beginning, it's, and, uh, and the thing also that Alice, a brother of Alice, was in the Bataclan. So she speak about a moment very close to her own things. And we are with this woman, which is in the restaurant. We don't know which restaurant is it, but she's in the restaurant and there are an attack. And it's all how she, she lost her memory. She doesn't remember what's happened. She doesn't know what she done. She just remembers that she, some, someone gave her his hand and, and say, be quiet, don't move. It will be okay. You're going to be saved. And she wants to see who gave him this hand. Mm. And so you, you have this quest of, for her memories, but also a quest to find this guy who saved her life. And in the same, same movie, you've got also uh, uh, this beautiful actor. We win also a César for another movie, but Benoit Magimel. Benoit Magimel for me is one of the best actors we are in France. With, I'm sure I love him so much. He was brilliant last year. In, a, in, a, in two movies we've got in the festival. is incredible on this one. And it's also about love because all the French movies speak always about love. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and this love, incredible movies, Paris Memories, you've got also a love story, which is uh, the, the, the quintessence, which is the sense of the French film festival and the, the sense of the French cinema is love. Love, love the cinema, love the film. So that's that's uh, excellent, yeah. excellent. Now, uh, just referring back to the Césars, I noticed you're playing a film which I'm very much looking forward to seeing uh, by Louis Garrel, a film called The Innocent. Amazing movie. Very funny. Oh, this is so French movie. So French because you don't you don't understand the, the you don't know what's going on on this movie. You know, it's a, we say that in the French cinema is always so interesting in the story. The storytelling is always strange and different. So you said, you start with a thing, you say, why, why, what's that happened to him? Oh no, that's come. Oh yes. Oh no. It's always like this. It's <laughs> exactly what happened on this movie. The character uh, is so, so, so funny. Louis Garel is a director and is playing inside. Noémie Merlon, I love this actress. She's bubble. Each time she, she, she's bubbly, sorry. Each time she, she's on the screen, you're laughing. You can't stop to have a big smile when you see Noemi. And she makes a good balance with Louis Garel, who is lost and doesn't know what's happened to him, and her who's laughing all the time. And the two other characters with, with the mother of Louis Garel and his new lover, Roche Dizem. She, she did the good balance with all these four characters. And uh, it's a love story too. It's a, it's a drama. 
it's an action movie. You don't know what it is. It's a, it's a, just fun. You finish the movie with a big smile. Maybe you don't like the end. Maybe you love it. It's not a, nothing important. You just spend an amazing moment. And it was very surprising. It made amazing result in France. Um, uh, not far that 1 million 500 people, 1 million 500, five, five, sorry, 500,000 people came to to see the movie. Mm. It was more RSA in the beginning, you know, because he has no very uh, famous actors inside. But it's it's for me, it's, a, it's one of the best comedy with a freestyle. A freestyle will be still the, mo- the movie I put at the end, uh, will be my closing movie. And I wanted to close with movie. When you leave the cinema, you've got a big smile, you know, very sensitive movies with, and always the things, I want to surprise. I want to that people. I don't like the movie when you say, "Oh, at the end they are going, they, they are going to be married and would be very happy," or "I'm sure this one will die." I can't support that. I always want to be surprised because the movie is not only beautiful images; it's also writing. It's also stories, and the story has to stay with you when the screen is off. The most important thing is you have to sing to the movie two, three days after. And uh, and uh, and that's why all the movies I choose, I think if you see, so each time you see one, you will have this sensation and I hope so. Excellent stuff. I, I like uh, films that are unusual, challenging, different. And speaking of films that are a bit different, uh, Quentin Dupuis, um, I think it's pronounced, probably not. Uh, I love his films. Yeah. And in, incredible but true, uh, which I've seen, you're playing. I've, I've seen that. It's wonderful and very, very clever. But also you've got his latest film, Smoking Causes Coughing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's, I say it, I say to you, I wanted to challenge myself and challenge the audience. Uh, Quentin Dupieux is very ap- apart. It's very different of all the directors we've got in France. Everybody wants to, to play with him now. Everybody in the people who love cinema are always waiting his new movie to see what he's going to do. His first movie was a, was a real, it was a serial killer. Yep. Uh, I remember in the French Film Festival, we were last year, the movie with uh, the, the giant uh, um, fly. Right, yep. Uh, these two there are quite different. Uh, you speak about um, the movie called Unbelievable But True. It's, it's just a comedy, <laughs> and, and, and you really don't know what's happened. Mm. There are some science fiction mi- in the <laughs> middle. I don't know. Yeah. Just tell me, Peter, what, what you were thinking in front of uh, this movie. I, I I like the story about aging rapidly and and uh, and how that sort of suddenly happens to uh, to one of the characters. Don't say That's, anything. No, but it's very clever, very clever, especially the way it, the story develops. And we've got also Benoît Magimel in, inside. We've got Alain Chabat, Léa Drucker, Anaïs de Moustier. All the artists in France wants to to work with him. Hmm. It's crazy. They 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 say yes. They say, do you want to be in a film with Quentin? Say yes. His producer said, Quentin can come and say, okay, I'm going to do a movie about a man who's in love with his jacket. The producer <laughs> said, yes. <laughs> and, and, and about smoking called coughing. Uh, I think it's the most challenging movie in the, in the selection <laughs> because it's, uh, I was thinking, how can I bring the new generation? How can I bring the young adults to the cinema? I don't have any movie like a, uh, a, uh, 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 a big heroes movie, like a movie with uh, super heroes. So, and I found this one. We have super heroes à la française <laughs> between us, between Japanese heroes from the eighties. It was a kind of adaptation of uh, of uh, Japanese heroes of uh, of uh, when I was a, a child in the eighties. Uh, it's crazy movie. Really, it's crazy. <laughs> it's uh, five super heroes. We are not very working well together. So the, the boss, who is a puppet, say you have to go to, to do a comp to just uh, reconnect. You know, it's very it's what we do now in the in the in the company. When we get a big company, you are gonna come for for your employees. So he's sent to a comp in the forest, and they are around the fire, and they tell some um, horror st- uh, uh, stories, 
and each uh, story is, is played by incredible actors uh, from Vincent Lacoste uh, to, to Gilles Lelouch. And it's uh, hilarious, it's very, but it's very special. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to, what what will be, but I think it was in, interesting to propose also this kind of uh, movies, not to stay always in the beautiful uh, love story or, or, or incredible movie about food that we've got. We've got two fantastic movies about food, Sugar and Stars, which is, yep. which is a real movie, real story of a young man who wants to to be uh, uh, change his condition. Mm. There are a lot of lot of movies like this in the fest in the festival, by the way, where it's outcasts who, who decide that the, the destiny is not what the the other think. You know that they can they have dream bigger than than us and they succeed. It's a case of tenor. It's a case of the sugar and stars. It's a case of cabaret countries also, and and all all these movies make us uh, uh, feel good. But also we learn about the fact that. Uh, it's sometimes you just need one person who believe on you and that change your destiny. So it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, we, 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 tr we try to propose also movies, uh, a crazy, like a uh, content du pur and movies also, we, who, who make you feel good and, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and make you happy to go to the cinema. Of course, and that's what I like about your programming. It's always a diversity of, of uh, themes and ideas and genres uh, in uh, the French Film Festival, and you program that so well, uh, Corinne. Um, I, I always also look for uh, <laughs> for good act, uh, good directors, and Jean-Jacques Arnaud is one of my favourite directors, and Notre Dame on Fire is in uh, the festival. I tried, I tried to bring him to to Australia. I I was so pressy, I pressed so much. But he's uh, he's eighty years old and he, and he said oh it's too far I'm tired uh, and uh, it's true it it was complicated but Jean Jacques Cano is also one of my favorite favorite director he made uh, Le Nom, the name of the rose mm. uh, seven years in Tibet he, he, and and the the bear the bear who wins an Oscar with this documentary about a uh, uh, bear is choose this time to work on the on Notre Dame. You know, when they are the fire on Notre Dame, and it's as November you are with the police team in a uh, in a in a Notre Dame in fire. You are with um, you are with the the firemen, and you try to save Notre Dame. It's a interesting movie. It's be between action and documentary, and uh, and it's you really have to to see it in big screen. By the way, the distributor, which is my man, man, man in the beginning, he refused to refuse me to see on my screen. He didn't send me any screen. He said, I'm going to rent a room and you have to see it on a big screen because yeah. you will have all the sensations. And I uh, and, uh, and, uh, say, okay, no, it's okay. I wanted to say, wait that I can find a room and you will go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how, how can we call from man man is, and he was right. It was so fantastic to to see it in the big room. You you're like this. You, it's very impressive. Looking forward to and it. And also, it's interesting because yes, because it's it plus it, there are good question on this movie, which is how far you can go uh, to to save things. Are you going to to risk life, human, to save uh, some antiquities, to save uh, a church? Yeah. You know. And the firemen have been so far, they want it so much. One moment they have to decide, do we continue? And it's become so dangerous. And where, where is the point? Where is the balance? Mm. That's a very good point. Excellent point. Looking forward to seeing that. And uh, another uh, favorite director of mine is Arnaud Desplachins uh, with Brother and Sister. Arnaud Desplachins is a wonderful man is if a man very it's very nice to to work with him he's very very sweet very intelligent and on his movies he's always let a lot of place to our own interpretation he's not someone who will each movie of depression uh, you you can have your own vision i can have my own vision too you know it doesn't. It's not a, a movie that uh, he said it's like this and that will happen like this, etc. Yeah, and he let a lot of place for for his actors. And in this movie, we've got fabulous actors. We've got um, 
um, so sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> ah, I understand. Uh, we got Marion Cotillard, sorry, uh, ah. Melvin Poupo, and uh, Golshite Farhani, which is one of my favorite actress. She was with us uh, uh, two years ago in a in a in a uh, Arab um, uh, the the divan le le divan Arab Arab divan maybe Arab uh, so I don't remember coach. Anyway, we've got these beautiful actors, and it's a it's a. I won't say anything about the movie because you have to see it. Mm. But it's a uh, this relationship about uh, a brother and a sister. And the, and the fact they hate each other so much. So what's happened in the sibling relationship? What's happened to them? And and uh, and uh, you will find your own keys. You will understand what you want to understand inside. But it's uh, it's always brilliant. Always brilliant. Again, looking forward to it. I mean, so many so many films to look forward to. And and another uh, director I really like is uh, Mia Hansen Love. With her new film, One Fine Morning. It's it's interesting because when I speak about my favorite movies on my ten, ten I've got four five movies director by female director. But my Hansen love for me, she really on my top with Rebecca Slavowski and Alice Yunoko. They are really my three favorite right now, uh, female director. And I don't speak. We will speak after about Alice Job, but. Uh, uh, Mia, she has a sense of showing the the authenticity of the emotion. And uh, with Lea Sedou, which is, I think, now our biggest international star, mm. with, uh, with uh, a new generation, we don't speak about Binoche, we don't speak about Isabelle Huppert, but Lea Sedou, thanks to uh, James Bond, uh, she, she just broke the wall. And in this movie, she doesn't. She is so. It's so personal. It looks like it's. Uh, it looks like uh, Pascal Gregory is really her father, and uh, and he has a disease and he's losing his his brain, and uh, and uh, and uh, the other, she made Melvin Poupo, which is, she they fall in love. So she's full of uh, emotion, uh, losing her father new relationship and she's also a mother and uh she succeeded to me had really succeed to be uh just on the line all time you know never too much and it's uh she just she just a perfect director it's uh, uh why did you love, love her so much yeah, excellent. Uh, really enjoy it. We we don't have a huge amount of time left, Zoom being the way it is, but you mentioned Alice Diop and St. Omer, which won Best uh, uh, First Film, I think, at the Césars. Yeah. Um, St. Omer sounds yeah. like, a, again, a great film. Yes, we've got such, uh, we've got two, de uh, uh, three debut movies and, uh, and uh, this one of Alice Diop, she was making more documentaries before. We said she's a new voice of the French cinema. She has this vocation to create impact movie. Uh, all the movie is a trio. You have just a few actors inside and she succeeds to create a lot of uh, confusion, a lot of emotion. And this movie is had a big impact. It was also on the race for the Oscar. Uh, didn't recite the Oscar at the end. Uh, yeah, she... She's the, the two actresses with, with our KJ, uh, KJ Kagame and Gulachi Malamba. We don't have so much uh, uh, woman in the center of the story and African woman too. And so it's a, it's a new face of France. We are diversity. We, we are white, black, yellow, everything. Mm. We are different, but together. And, and, uh, and uh, she doesn't make any difference. Uh, yeah, she, she is a new voice. She's very interesting. Okay. And what would a film festival be without Gérard Depardieu <laughs> in uh, Robust? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's also a first a first uh, a debut movie. Ah. Uh, another director, uh, she I think she 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 just amazing. Constance Meyer. Constance Meyer wrote this movie for Gérard Depardieu. Another brand. She. 
in could you imagine in my debut movie and I want Gerard Depardieu <laughs> crazy impossible mm. but she wrote something so sen sensitive she wrote a portrait of him and he's playing like his own uh, role and in front of she put a woman that I really love Deborah Locomonia which is robust she is robust too and there are these two characters two robots we have to work together we have to she she's in charge of his protection she's also a driver and during all the movie which is very short i saw it in in, in Cannes. it was just beautiful you 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 don't know which, which one is going to save the other and it's a it's a it's a story of two characters who don't have to be together because he's a big star of the cinema she is working in the suburb and uh, she she's a driver they are together and something light arrives of this relation they are robust but they something full of light something very in uh, uh, intense on emotion to uh, are coming i really love this and i'm so happy to have this movie with gerard Depardieu. i think it's a long time we haven't seen him so sensitive and and so touching and i've got another one called umami which is a Le Gérard Depardieu who eats who is fat, who's going to to uh, to Japan to find the 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 chef who made delicious pastas that he tested 40, 50 years ago. It's a quest of taste. Mm. And uh, it's very interesting also to see Gérard in, in this movie. Okay. And I should mention Christophe Honoré, uh, another director I really admire for uh, this time, Winter Boy. Yes, it's, it's a, I think it's the most personal movie he made. It's his own story. He, when he was uh, uh, 17, his father died in a crash. I didn't spoil the movie because it's a 10 first movie. And he was 17. He was living in the Alps with his mother, who is played by Juliette Binoche, who is like always exceptional. Mm. And this young man just lost everything, not only a, a, a father, but also his uh, own limit. He doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know who he will be. And he, and he has a big depression. And he goes to see his brother, played by Vincent Lacoste, which is, you have saw him in many movies of Christophe Honoré mm. before. And... And this young boy go to Paris to see her brother and go to a quest of who he is now. How you can live with the loss of your father when you are 17, you, you're a gay boy and you start your life, you know, your social life and, and you lost the one who was your, um, how do you say, your repair in French, your, you don't help me huh? Uh, well, a role model, yeah. perhaps, or, or something like that. Yeah, your role yeah. model. Yeah. yeah. Thank you yeah. so much, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you have only to work got... with me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've only got a few minutes left. Now, now there are films featuring Laura Kalami, who is uh, such a good yeah. actress in, in, in three films, and you've got family films as well. So it's it's a great lineup. Yeah, we've got three movies with Laura Kalami. Uh, she won also uh, a César last year. We have two tickets to Greece, which is a good comedy. And this comedy makes a link with our iconic movie of this season, which is Le Grand Bleu, The Big Blue, because she's, she, she's going to Greece with, uh, to, to, on, on the vision she's got of The Grand Bleu. And, uh, and so it's a very, very fun movie with Christine Scott Thomas. I've got also with her, uh, I spoke about Annie in Fire, mm -hmm. which is an incredible uh, 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 drama uh, made by Blondine Lenoir. And uh, she's also with a very strange thriller, very close to Paras Parasite, Parasite, you know, the, the Korean movie. Yep. Uh, we are, in, but à la française, so Parasite à la française, which is a thriller about family, and uh, it's called The Origin of Evil, and it's also a first movie. Uh, made by Sébastien Marnier. And uh, for family movies, we've got, oh, Right Above, which is, we two million people came to see it. It's not only a movie for young, it's for all the family. A uh, lot of, of my di director cry on it. It's an incredible story. It's a true story based on a book of a young girl who wants to be uh, a, a jockey, you know, the people who, who ride uh, horses. 
for competition and uh, and she's got a terrible accident and it's uh, also how you can stop or can you can continue to believe in your dream and it's beautiful bit beautiful story and very well done right above i've got also belle sebastian it's mm. a it's a it's a fourth movie of this uh, a very famous series about this dog big beautiful big white dog from Pyrenees and a, a little boy and i'm very proud to have the last movie of michel oslo which is animation um, it's called the black pharaoh the princess and the sauvage and it's incredible animation so lovely so each te- each tales are so well writing but the animation it's a uh, with shadow, with color, like Kiriku, like a princess and and uh, and prince, princes he made before. Uh, I think we've got many things for all age um, on this selection. You certainly do. Look, uh, my time is just about up, but uh, so to speak. But uh, we've been speaking about the Alliance Francaise French Film Festival, such a diverse range of films, as always, at Palace Cinemas from uh, 8th of March to 5th of April. And as always, uh, Karine Mori, it's a pleasure talking to you about your film selection. Yeah, me too. We didn't speak about Final Cut, but uh, I will let you do it. I will, <laughs> yes, yes, the, uh, the zombie film. <laughs> yeah. Zombie comedy. It's a big comedy. It is, it is. It's very clever. Karine, thank you so much for talking with me and uh, hopefully I'll see you at the festival. Eh bien, rendez-vous au festival, alors. On se retrouve au festival. <laughs> okay. <laughs> à bientôt. Bisous, bisous. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> <laughs>